Officials from Laos and Thailand have agreed to step up cooperative efforts investigating and controlling drugs along their shared border. The officials met on Wednesday in Vientiane to also discuss their previous joint work on the anti-drug problems of both nations. Chairman of the Lao National Commission for Drug Control and Supervision, Gu Jansina, reported on the situation of Laos in general before specifically addressing challenging issues. His report highlighted that Laos had eradicated opium plantations in 2006, but now some people in remote areas were again growing the illegal crop. He said adding that the government of Laos is paying attention to and focusing on this problem with the cooperation of all sectors. At the meeting, the Thai side also reported their work and cooperation with Laos and other bordering countries to halt the illegal drugs trade. Thai Minister of Justice General Pai Boon Kum Sanya said the cooperation between Thai and Lao officials had generally worked smoothly in previous years, and he believed this would continue. The Thai delegation also added they were now focusing their anti-drug efforts in border communities to gain the assistance of local people and officials to work on this problem. Following the meeting, the Thai delegation also called on Deputy Prime Minister A Sang Lao Li at the government office. It is reported that abusing drugs is a serious problem in Laos because 1% of Lao people, in particular teenagers, are at risk of being enslaved by drugs. Amphetamines, known as Yaba, is 80% of the problem. Opium, 15%, and other drugs account for 5%. It is also explained that because Laos form part of the Golden Triangle, an opium production hotspot covering a large region across several countries, it was hard to control transportation into and out of the area. Officials said the overall effort is good but some work still needs to be done on reporting information and drug targets, hoping to improve this in the future. It is also agreed to improve the work along the border where there is a higher risk of drug trafficking.